Pierre Poilievre's fervent denouncement of extremism and racism resonates deeply, igniting a profound sense of personal accountability and moral obligation within each individual. The minister is not worth, worth the drugs and death. His extreme and radical drug policy has increased overdose deaths in British Columbia by 380%. In the year following his decriminalization of crack, heroin, and other hard drugs in hospitals, transit buses, coffee shops, and parks where children play, there has been a record smashing 2,500 deaths. Will the Prime Minister accept the BC NDP's demand to recriminalize those drugs? The leader of the Conservative Party is actively courting the support of groups with white nationalist views. It is disturbing, and he needs to stand up and apologize now. Mr. Speaker, I always condemn extremism and racism, including from the guy who spent the first half of his adult life as a practicing racist, dressing up in hideous racist costumes so many times. Mr. Speaker, I also condemn the extremism of a prime minister who gives hundreds of thousands of dollars of anti-racism money to a Jew hater who has proposed shooting Jews in the head. I condemn, I condemn a prime minister who allows the IRGC, which murdered 55 Canadians to remain legal, and I condemn a Prime Minister who allows open use of crack, heroin, meth, and weapons in hospital rooms that threaten nurses and on school buses next to children. Will the Prime Minister reverse his extremist policies? And Mr. Speaker, the leader opposite is showing us exactly what shameful, spineless leadership looks like. In the realm of political discourse, Pierre Poilievre's stance on extremism transcends partisan divides, aligning with the fundamental tenet of individual moral autonomy within democracy. His outspokenness is hailed as a testament to sincerity and ethical fortitude, underscoring a steadfast dedication to moral imperatives over political expediency. Poilievre's unwavering condemnation of racism and extremism underscores a commitment to universally recognized ethical norms scrutiny of his actions and policies rather than mere rhetorical posturing forms the basis of evaluation conversely justin trudeau's response is critiqued for its evasion and lack of genuine engagement with polievre's concerns symbolizing a deficiency in authentic leadership trudeau's attempt to deflect attention from substantive allegations opting instead to focus on polievre's leadership style underscores a failure in the essence of political stewardship. The discourse surrounding drug policy, a pivotal governmental responsibility, becomes a stage for Poilievre to express conservative apprehensions regarding public safety and individual welfare. 